today I just want to show you the basic principles of uh, the new flagship uh, TIC machine that we've got. It's the ProTIC 315 ACDC and the uh, ProTIC uh, 200 ACDC. They're basically similar, the only difference is on the 200 it's got an on-off switch in front and on the 315 it's got a switch at the back. Right, I'm going to start off with the basic thing, and that is, as everybody knows, on your left hand side where it says negative, that will be your torch side, and on your positive, that will be your earth side. And you've got your gas inlet, outlet from, from the back, you've got your trigger, and you've got your control for your footprint. This little here will be for your water. Right, on the left top side, Yeah, we are down at the moment. It's actually very simple. This will be your AC, normal AC tick. As soon as you go down, that will be your pulsing AC tick. This will be your normal DC tick. That will be your normal DC tick pulse. Then you'll go to your AC, normal arc welding and your DC, normal arc welding. I'm going to put this machine on your normal AC thick welding, so I can just explain to you what's going on at the back here. Right, as you can see, here's your ampage switch with your turn knob on your right hand side. So, you will see this knob can turn right around, but it can only go as far as the machine is set to do. So, we, for this uh, exercise, we're just coming back your normal ampage, as you can see, on ampage. On this feature here, it's the same basically as uh, your older machines, you'll get your pre-gas. Your pre-gas is the bit of gas that comes through the machine before you start welding, and you can set it with this knob to your different value. The same with your starting current. Starting current you will get when uh, the machine starts off with a different with an ampage that you set it to, and uh, that's how you go. Okay, then you go you get your slope up. Everything gets set from this button. Then when you uh, you reach that, you've got your peak current. That's remember on your normal AC tick. Then you get your down slope, like the uh, older machines. Your finishing current, so basically it will go down to a certain ampage where you set it on again, yeah, you'll set it on there, that, and then you're off the flow. That's that one. As soon as you put this machine to your pulsing, as you can see, what I've just pressed here, you will get, again, your uh, pre-flow, get your starting current, it will display that there, you'll get your up-slope, and then here you will see your basic current. Basic current, that's where this comes in. You know, remember with your pulsing on your tick, this is where you get your, uh, uh, when I had it on your normal IC tick, that, that light didn't flash. But when you got it in your pulse, that will light will come on. That's for your, your uh, minimum and then of course your maximum peak current. Okay, then, uh, as you see here, that will be your pulsing frequency, your hertz. And that will be your duty, like we know duty, the length of it. This is your AC side, your hertz, it's getting, okay? And your AC balance. So it's very simple when you go to that. Then when I go down on the left hand side, you go down to your arc feature. You get your current, again, you can set your current here. Then you get your arc force, like everybody knows, uh, to control your lift. Right, then you get your uh, ignition current, so basically it will give you a good start and then how long you want that start to keep while you are. That's basically the setting on this. Then you get your foot control, if you've got a foot control knot, you can switch it on. You can just put it on the pick and put it on there, you'll see that you will get a foot control, yes or no. On this side here, you get your ampage like I said. And you can see here it hurts in the frequency. So basically, remember when we had it on here, it was the same 
as that. So basically you set it all with this knob. It's got a, a normal uh, one function knob, if you can say that. The voltage you will get, as soon as you start welding, you will, the voltage will display and you can see what your voltage were, okay? On that uh, setting. On the second one, you will see you get a two step and a four step. The same, uh, like I said, a normal hole uh, uh, will be that, continuously hold and then not hold. That's basically it. And then on your job recall is when you set, it's got five settings, one, two, three, four, two, five where you can program the machine to be able to remember a setting, but that's only while the machine is on. As soon as you switch the machine off and back on, it wipes that memory. And basically, folks, that's more or less the machine in a nutshell. Um, I hope it's easy for you to, to understand. There is a nice booklet that you get with the machine that you can see the more finer tuning and the more uh, involved uh, settings on this machine. Have a great day. Bye.